Shalom, shalom, shalom. Can y'all hear me now? Sister Rhonda, can you hear me? All right. I'm talking about in the Zoom. Can you hear me, Sister Rhonda? Yes, I can hear you. All right. All right. Uh, can you speak again so I could... Shalom? Shalom, shalom. All right, I hear you. So that whole while I've been playing music and nobody heard nothing. <laughs> I've been, the whole beginning of the show, <laughs> I've been, for the whole 20 minutes, it's been nothing. It's just been silent. That's what, that's what y'all telling me? The whole beginning. I know you can hear me now, but the whole beginning of the show that I was playing music, y'all ain't hear me? You can't hear anything? That was my mistake. I made a mistake on that one. I had something muted. And I didn't realize it. How's everyone doing? So y'all ain't hear my introduction or not? Okay, giving glory to the most high God. <laughs> Thought they, that I was meditating. Oh, man. All right, so giving glory to the most high God, King of the universe. For all things and everything, giving praise to the Most High King, and um, thanking the Most High God for my life, the life of all of you. I was asking y'all what y'all have for dinner, for for Shabbat dinner. What did everyone have for Shabbat dinner out there? <laughs> I'm over here playing music. I'm going in. I'm scratching, doing all types of stuff. <laughs> You're gonna have to do the whole set. Oh. Yo, I was over here, I was over here thinking I'm in a groove. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and the screen was frozen. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I was over here going in. I had nice little selection. I felt good. That was just, that's bad. Where's shout out to y'all at? do the whole set over. Where's shout out to y'all at? We waiting for Shaatil to get on. Shaatil is um remember he's three hours behind us, so right now, you know, um the sun just went down over there. So he's probably having food with his family or whatever, so <sighs> I don't know if I could pull that with the same um spirit. I could I don't know if I could pull it off with the same spirit. <laughs> I feel like such a buffoon. <laughs> I'm over here scratching. I'm doing everything. I'm in my I'm in my in my mode and this is what happens to me. Let me see if I can relive this. Let me see if I can do it. I think I started with my brother Cypher. Man, and the people be waiting and I'm out here playing games. I'm out here playing games. Here we go. From heaven, giving these idle showers. They statues leaning like the Eiffel Tower. Y'all burnt the touchdown, Jeebus to pieces, and turned it into powder. Just place an emphasis on late graven images to get clean and game get blown. Like Sega Genesis, be circumspect, say none of their names, and never mention it. You work for Yah that very same day. It came with benefits, be the poor every day. 
that's my 401k Deposit righteousness, so mercy can't be stored in my bank Need to withdraw some faith to my Yah, I'm praying faithfully So if you ain't praying to Yah, then please don't pray for me Yo, I know they won't like this but light is song for the righteous Polish your soldiers like Moses Where Yahweh showed them his brightness The time Edison when it comes to the laws of Yah's guidance Open the scrolls and his writings I'll give me soul and enlightenment Starting to let go of the vices that had control of my mindset Was being cruel to myself But Yahweh showed me his kindness They want to close up your iris I'm here to open your eyelids Gotta stay focused, be vibrant Don't shut the door, let the light in Let the light in Strong, but gossip running mouth to mouth. Evil's like a baby daddy. Says running house to house. Try to teach them truth and scripture, but everybody love the cross. But irony is that most of love is lost. Living in captivity and still blessed. Trying to get my family free from out this mess. Most times I feel stressed. Try to retire early, still oppressed. Gonna go crazy if I don't get this off my chest. Most times I feel stressed. Living in captivity and still blessed. Trying to get my family free from out this mess. Most times I feel stressed. Try to retire early, still oppressed Gon' go crazy if I don't get this off my chest Most times I'm It's messed up, I had to carry a weapon for protection Yah's my deliverance, but knowledge won't make you negligent No fear of getting robbed for my necklaces But I'd be lying if I say I never fear getting killed over prejudice That's prevalent, the five books of Torah is my medicine Back when I was sinning, stolen steel was my leverage Then the irony of being a stick-up kid is something crazy I'm just hoping another Hebrew brother don't come and slay me I did a lot of sisters real bad The karma full circle, I'm a real dad Don't want another man tearing down my daughter Even though in my past that was my aura Was out of order Paul bearer seven times thinking about the bodies laid Pray to Yah so age when I see my grave I pray I die when I'm asleep Don't want to think about my Isha when I leave Living in captivity and still blessed Trying to get my family free from out this mess Most times I feel stressed Try to retire early, still oppressed Go yeah. crazy, don't yeah. get this okay. off my chest Most times I feel stressed yeah. Living in captivity yeah. and still yeah. blessed yeah. Trying to get my family free from out this mess Most times I feel stressed Try to retire yeah. early, still oppressed Go go crazy, don't yeah. get this off my chest Let's get it, let's get it Let's get it Um you strike out hip hop, why the bullet? You strike out hip hop, yeah, you know what it is. You strike out hip hop, why the bullet? You strike out hip hop. Wake up, Jake up, let's go. You strike out hip hop, why the bullet? You strike out hip hop. You strike out hip hop, why the bullet? You strike out hip hop. Now let's take a dive in history. Okay. Yo, Ab and Abner granted many victories, banging on each other. Took their young soldiers, matter of fact, brothers. Handed them the sword instead of reading them the Torah. Let the young men play right before their rise. Take his sharp tools out, they seen their demise. Some would get shocked, but to me it's no surprise. Turn your heart against your brother, yeah, that curse is no lie. Uh, 
It started from some beef, what? King Saul, King Dawi. First it was brotherhood, then jealousy. Okay. Javelin's thrown before mouth start to speak. Took his trusty men, cousin to Hervey, he had to flee. Dig deep thoughts when you really think about it. Old school moving, new school, the gray pits. Cycle seem is never ending, but that's just right. Yeah, we gonna break it. No faking, we're the chosen ones up, up in this matrix. Uh, Yisrael hip hop, why double A? Yisrael hip hop. Yisrael, Yisrael, Yisrael. Yisrael hip hop, why double A? Yisrael hip hop. Yisrael, Yisrael, Yisrael. Yisrael hip hop, why double A? Yisrael hip hop. Yisrael, Yisrael, Yisrael. Yisrael hip hop, why double A? Yisrael hip hop. You're the only one for me You're the only one we need When we pray to God and plead That's when we start to succeed Wake up, look in the mirror, be yourself Don't let them blessings slip onto nobody else Wake up, look in the mirror, be yourself Don't let them blessings slip onto nobody else How you gon' call on this name like that? Knowing that you faking on the game like that Get into your garden, you go rain like that Looking at my people Make them hit the jets When my mom was almighty Ain't no pigeon test In tune with the Lord Let's reach a higher power I ain't hearing no cries Pray a little louder The pain of an Israelite Leading people to get it right But the arrogant minds Is the religion of the evil life Death done blind Without God is our way That's why I always pray to God So I can see them better days That's why I get into God's blessings Taking on all lessons If you ain't with the crater You drowning in your own depression Silence is the key to our destruction Not the better life Take with them by the hand And carry on Cause that's the better you're the only one for me You're the only one we need When we pray to God and plead That's when we start to succeed Wake up, look in the mirror, be yourself Don't let them blessings slip onto nobody else Wake up, look in the mirror, be yourself Don't let them blessings slip onto nobody else How you gon' call on this name like that? Knowing that you faking on the game like that Get into your garden, you can rain like that Looking at my I can't fake when I'm pushing on that route. I hit the brakes. Just believe me. In the world, it's your popping out like it's greedy. Feeding for that knowledge, bro. I'm greedy. You see me? It's your coming down the aisle. Please get out the way. Cause one me what I can't. He clear past the leader straight. You got the lawyer, brother. Don't you gotta put him on? Attracted to the folly, but our minds is really gone. Got me singing unity, grabbing on and on. Living in the system of today. Gotta grind all the time. Get on my knees and pray. Level up in God's ways. Cause when you got to the end of then you gon' see it pays Got me hitting melodies, I'm feeling what I know Pack up your stuff, yeah, break and rise Cause we on the go We the real, this ain't just displaying a little show When we guard the laws, give us ability to grow Grow Entangled within the battle between light and dark I lost my focus, gather feelings, and then it all starts Premeditated intuition, but again, that's all bark Anybody hope of playing with sin, still play this part It's dark as a pitch, you deep, oh no, no How your spirit fill up with ether that the hill slow I'm on my track when asking God to redeem me Where am I get these? I'm trying to get God to see me I'm on my flat line, playing tug of war with some bad times In my mind, I've been losing dreams, that's a bad sign Listen what I describe, can never cater to anger when God's on my side God wasn't wants me to seek her, but my demons always mistreating her Feel like an adolescent, reach for whoever will hold me And God just makes it easier, I'm battling with my demons That time I feel like I'm dreaming, I'm pin between good and evil Why can't lose my soul, analyzing my direction, let God take control My innermost won't delete her, my evil wants me to be with her Still by and by the rules, my conscience would hold Just keep on holding on to God and I won't lose my soul Yeah, just like that, you think you got it You on the right path Then that neighbor come And they try to pull you in another direction 
Your demons pulling at your collar. And no matter how hard you try to clinch the guard, sometimes they prevail. I got these demons on my left and right. Like King Soul, I can even lay my head at night. All this pressure got me thinking twice. Is this pain worth the price? It's telling me it's the better life. But sometimes I be thinking and it be out loud. And sometimes I just wonder if God with me now. Got my head spinning cause I'm dancing it. Look at my people, all I see is less winning. Watch out them every scheme, scheming. Only if you knew just what I'm thinking. I can't pull off, I got that spirit on me. Ain't thinking right, them demons living with me. I be trying to find God, it ain't clearing up. Yeah, the answer right in my face, my eyes is tearing up. But I'm trying to stay on the post, so I'm keeping my silver close. I be trying to stay on ten toes, so I'm praying I never fall, yeah. I'm battling with my demons. That time I feel like I'm dreaming. I'm in between good and evil, I can't lose my soul. Analyzing my direction, let God take control. My animals won't delete My evil wants me to be with her. Still by and by the rules, my conscience will hold. Just keep on holding on the guard and I won't lose my soul. Shalom, shalom, family. Welcome once again to Shabbat Night Talk. My name is Uzi Alewi. How is everyone feeling out there? I hope that everyone is feeling good. Hope that everyone is feeling blessed and not stressed. You know, I was looking at some stuff. Um... I was looking at some at some new music. Let me turn this down a little. There'd be a lot of good music on YouTube, but you know the the problem be a lot of can we hear what illusions? Illusions, no. Chief. You don't got that track? Yeah, I got By it. By Shem Levy. And low yeah, key levy is called illusions. It's old. It's like one of their first joints. No, I got Shabbat it. Shabbat Shalom. I got it. That joint is fire, and I think it's perfect for the moment, especially after that last song you played about demons. A lot of us have demons we don't be wanting to face or deal with. We try to run away. But before we get into the talk, let me send my peace and love to my sister Rhonda, sister love. What's Shabbat good, Shalom. sister love? Shabbat Shalom. How are you? How was your week? Yeah. We, we, my week wasn't as good as that fruit cup you got. Let's come on. Take that bite. We caught you right in the middle of that. <laughs> it's one more bite left. Let me get it. <laughs> yes. Pomegranates. And you did that on camera. You a real one, sis. I took that bite on camera. That's love. Yeah, I'm country. Pomegranates, they that's the fruit that Adam gave, that Eve gave Adam was a pomegranate. That's what I heard. That's the word. Are you? That's uh, what I heard. You, Eve you gave make Adam it, a pomegranate. You make it. You making that. <laughs> Don't listen to that to stuff. <laughs> Don't listen to that stuff, honey. <laughs> about to start it wasn't off. an apple. It wasn't a banana. It was a pomegranate. It was a pomegranate. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pomegranate. Don't listen to none of that stuff. No, but in all about. seriousness, though, pomegranate. Yeah, pomegranate is a great fruit, man. Um, it's been around for years. It's good for all types of health, heart. So we promote pomegranates up in here. You got to have a knop and a flower and a pomegranate on a priestly pomegranate. <laughs> a pomegranate, a knop and a flower. <laughs> you know what's funny about me and pomegranates? is I can't peel them. I have to buy them already peeled because I got that, um, what do you call that um, phobia called? Uh, trachophobia, it's a fear of holes or seeing a whole bunch of things together. Uh -oh. I got that. So I can't, it makes me nauseous. And so I have to buy them already peeled. I've never I'm eaten a pomegranate. Oh, yeah. I've never eaten a pomegranate in my life. What? What? I'm what? drinking pomegranate <laughs> juice. But I've never you haven't had a pomegranate? I'm bringing you a pomegranate. 
I don't I'm even know how doctor. to start eating. What do you eat? The seeds? I eat That's the whole thing. Is? Some people, some people don't. Some people once they get the seeds, get all the juice out and spit the seeds out. But I eat the whole thing. Oh. I eat the seeds too. The whole thing. I, I part two. No, I don't do that part. I just the seeds. I eat all the seeds. So yeah, that's all it is is seeds. So when yeah, you so when you bust when you bust open a pomegranate, it has valves, right? And it's the same as the heart. And this is why they say the pomegranate is the best fruit for you. When you open up the pomegranate, I don't know if anybody took science class or anatomy class, but I did. I got a little something I learned. Okay. When you open up that pomegranate, right? It has sec. There are sections in that pomegranate. And it's just like valves. Your heart has sections. It's like four sections in your heart. And the, the shape of the pomegranate, when you open it, they say it's similar to the heart, in which you have to eat the pomegranate in its sections. Mm. Um, so in your heart, you have blood, you have blood that flows to the valve, and then it re reproduces and cleanses itself, and then it pumps. So there's two sides of the heart. And it's the same as the pomegranate when you split it open and look inside and you see the valves. And and that's all I got about that. But uh, it's really good. You should try it. It's nothing but seeds on the insides. You just pop that seed in your mouth, pause, and then you just eat that. Um, Some people grind it you know, and make juice. That's how you get the juice out of it. Pause. But it's all good. And all of that, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Did you just throw a quick pause in between that? He did. He did. Got he you, did. man. But everybody, we, this channel is, we try to make games. We want to make sure you the minds of all people who think in all types of ways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Young and know the life. Young and know the life. So I have, so I have a question. I know we started with some, I know we had some technical difficulties when we first started. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Please let everybody know that we are. We having a great, um, I think we're going to have a great topic tonight. So, is, and uh, um, I know this is a, a kind of like a touchy subject and it's also like a, it's not a, um, it's not a light subject, so I'm going to just say it straight out. Suicide, is it, would suicide be against Torah? Suicide, would it be against Torah? And this is coming in lieu of the, um, I seen that there was a DJ that used to be on the on the Ellen, on the Ellen show. Um, is it Helen or Ellen? What was her name? Ellen. Ellen. So um she was you on you know Ellen. she was he was the DJ on that show and um he took his life earlier this week. I believe yesterday or two days ago he took his life and um we um we were discussing or, or you know, I ran it by the panel and I said, Well, you know, he took his life within Torah would suicide be against the Torah? Would be against, would, would it be against um, the laws of God? So that's the question for tonight. Um, I'm going to give you all a chance to um, to think about that, build up on that. I see people already have their opinion. So yeah. we're going we're gonna to discuss all that. Make sure, Sister Rhonda, make sure you get all that um, so that we could... Um, so that we could discuss it. We're going to wait for our brother Shaltiel to be 100% ready to discuss because he still has some some stuff going on over there and um, wherever he's at, New Mexico or wherever, <laughs> wherever he's at now. <laughs> I know he was in California at one point, but he might be in New Mexico somewhere now. So, What are you doing yeah. in New Mexico? I don't know. I don't even know if he's in New Mexico. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but he's so black folks in New Mexico. I'm sure they got black people in New Mexico. I think I know somebody from New Mexico that's black. Black really? people is everywhere. Well, I know, but I mean 
They got black people in Colorado and Oklahoma and and. I watch. They got black people all over. And Shaatiel, Shaatiel's children have taken over. You How see this? So they they not doing so well right now. They hungry. I'm about to feed them. Oh, okay. So do your thing. Back them up. Ten and minutes, we'll, and we'll come back to you. Take your time, man. Don't rush. Feed the kids. I'll be I'll be in the I'll be in the live in the chat though. But um, <laughs> no, I'm not in New Mexico. But I wish I was because the, the NBA the NBA is in New Mexico right now. <laughs> The, the NBA. NBA. It's a topic for another day, sis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know no team in New Mexico. What? Can we hear some illusions? I was play some music. <laughs> Let the people get into the suicide be of murder because they live in the chat right now. It's suicide murder. I, I say suicide. <laughs> It's not murder. Suicide is not murder. Now, some might think suicide is murder. I think it's not murder. I have, I have okay. scriptorial, scriptorial evidence. Bring me a you got to bring the evidence. I got, I got he scriptures. Don't got no evidence. This, I got He's scriptures. making it up as he go along. It's right gonna back. be one of those nights. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so we we'll see. We got we got quite a few people. We got a hit the fell. We got um Shaatiel tends to think also that um Samson committed suicide. <coughs> <coughs> He he tends to think that Samson's committed suicide. I know it hit the fell for sure committed suicide. Um, I can't I can't wait to hear all of this. I can't wait because I I'm still I don't know. I can't wait to hear about um, Samson. Hmm. So we got a bunch of we got a bunch of um. We got a couple of things that we got to look at. I got to look at the something that um, the Most High God said in Genesis. I'm going to look back at that. We're going to discuss that. And, you know, we know that's the thing that's in the in the current um, in the current news because we heard of this DJ um, killing himself. And there's various people that killed themselves. There's, um, I think it's Naomi Judd from the um the that country group. I don't know why I know her name, but you know, I guess the at one point the Judds were something. Um she took her life. So oh well, they hot in the chat. We we got it. We we we're gonna have to start soon. I know because Sha Disgusting. But we but we have to wait for Shaatiel. So we're gonna take like 10, 15 minutes, play some music, and then we're going to come back to the chat. Y'all keep your, the discussion going, and we're going to come back to it, all right? Here we go. I bring it to you so that you can understand the truth. I bring it to you so that you can understand the truth. Children of Israel, you and your squad better spring the real God. Hold up, bro, I'm here to wake your soul up. I read your mind, say it's shown up, give it to ya Make the wicked run and panic when I give it to ya Lord, statues and commandments, I'ma give it to ya Like Moses on the mount, when I shout holy truth So the youth can't know what I'm talking about No doubt, these wise words I saw ya Bro, walk to take a spirit higher On the flip side, retire All fakes and phonies, frogs, cons and liars All false messiahs, pretenders Words, prayers and cleanser, remember Y'all gave me the spirit to spit divine fire Refuse to praise his name and get burned by the flame Uh, this ain't a game, I bring a new reality the fighting skills to kill that Negro mentality. So wake up, wake up, Jacob, Jacob, good Jehovah, Elohim, reign supreme. I bring it to you so.
so that you can understand the truth. Second to think, it's time to sketch it out. Sketch it out. Uh, with all this holy stuff, yeah. it seems we only use knowledge to prove we know enough. But a Wikipedia, your teacher, we calling your bluff. Yeah. As it's just giving God his praise, wasn't silent enough. We was doing it for the Father, uh-huh. we doing it for our honor. Uh-huh. We sabotage and perverted it, now we live in Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Hand washes the other water, fix the Let everybody know that we're on tonight. Uh-huh. I struggle outside the box when we ponder it ass yeah. But then you show you the stars done double and cast yeah. But never seem to blame yourself for your scars I or your past time. Evil on the coach, yeah, some of us gas. Yes. A reptile elevated, a snake in the grass. 
We abuse the way of our culture, spin circles around the Torah with gimmicks, something like vultures. Take comfort in making game out the flock, something like vultures. Or using the titles that's being given to muscle soldiers. I gotta get myself together, that's the biggest talk. But you just highly in your folly, chose a different walk. We never thought to pray together, it's to stay together. By walking the same path, you can face whatever. We understand we obligated to be elevated. Be best to trying to be yourself, you poor at trying to fake it. In all secondary things, keep it separated. And let your aura reflect over in your bound to make it. Amen.
Can't keep it bottling. Giving no praise to my spirit, need oxygen. Deep wisdom like Solomon. Vision like Moshe, that one day I see the promised land. Ain't going to heaven, no, but most I set up the throne. The earth is for all the men, but you live forever through your seeds. Just stack up your cheese and you could be all in here. Reading scriptures through my car, yeah. We were commodity on the market here. Story told by Granny in a rocket chair. Grandpa just told us the scars on his back because he took his shirt off, it was hot in here. Told us it all to his life, but he held his head out, he couldn't just ride in fear. He just prayed to the God of my forefathers. Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. This is history, no fairy tale. That's up a Mesopotamia. That's why I say get up and go with life. We don't let you got no restraint in ya. Most high already bless us when he let Jacob rest through the extraterrestrial. Israel make hard to do it well. We off the wall like Jezebel. But it's time to build like Bezalel. I ain't no priest, but I'm ringing bells. Oh, yeah. Whenever I'm lost so and my feelings hurt and I get destroyed, you just come up and door. The God of my forefathers. Anytime feel bother, anytime feel joy, anytime feel so Call on my forefathers, call on the God of my forefathers Oh, God of my forefathers Anytime feel bother, anytime feel joy, anytime feel so Call on my forefathers, call on my forefathers Oh else you could call upon y'all knows exactly what's going on past present in the future but nevertheless he made us exclusive we ain't want to serve him so he made us serve a foreign nation that is surely abuses lord please rid us of every adversary and of all our accusers beautiful voices from god they took us for evil for their own amusement not only musicians but they took some scholars and whoever else was conducive and yet we don't see the beauty in each other but that day is crazy as ever just think of the blessings instead of the curses whenever you look in the mirror sister know you tired of that running mascara and brothers the feeling of being a failure praying I just wanna see us do better. Let's start off with being loyal to our shepherd. It's the most highway, and you don't wanna get up on the wrong exit. A 14 day journey turned to 40 years of us roaming around in the desert. We done been tired of feather. It's everybody part seven. We don't do low, we lose leverage. I hope we all get the message. Whenever I'm stressed, or I get real tired of being depressed. I just call on the best, the God of my folks. Yeah. El Lobo Flow Yeah, I never switch up my basis. I'm still focused and favored. I'm still patiently waiting to see our land which was taken. Y'all give us a rain, man. I'm sick or tired of this nation. That's here, my brothers for Nathan. We're still marching for changes. They brought us over and changed. Now keep us locked in the basement. They do their murders and mass. But still label us dangerous. They let men sleep with men and never fail with our cases. They think it's fear in our eyes. We see the hate on their faces. They drugged us up with religion. The 12 steps up for Nathan. They whitewashing the history. The 12 tribes are forsaken. Trying to keep my composure. These off the fists are just shaking. I want a burger with onions. They all burgers with uh, bacon. They talk to purge all of Jacob, the plan and purpose. This place been reading the same sheet of music. Why past the turn in the pages? Think of the hair and the turtle. We jump in hurdles. Try Satan, I use the law as a girdle. Like ain't no bell with my waist. It's cursed if you hear Yahweh's words. Without confirming the statements, the truth can buy for nothing. But we ain't purchasing nay in this generational curses. But I'm determined to break it. We don't got perfect relations, but it can work if we make it. Know what you serving is grave and the churches is vacant. Emergency. He's waiting If I don't worship us Don't turn to the agent Can't wait to learn I learn to wait Cause you get further With patience Can't remake it It's hard to refurbish Your soul once you tainted it I'm in I'm back Another clean verse track Z Ben Yaman came to craft No need to rehearse raps Took some time away from music Had to divert back Like I left my phone at home I had to Don't forget to share Like and subscribe Brothers And I read Let everybody know that we're on What for the sisters Yell a deem up next I'm a <laughs> Israel catches wave, red sea surf rap. Uh, back to the boom back. C brought that groove back like loose slaps. Two socks and true facts. This is why I gotta be loved. Stop saying time heal wounds. What a genuine apology does. The most high is well known to provide that plan. Even if they throwing stones and they hide their hands. So I hold no ties. Come on. The foolish, I'm fearless. All right. So hold on, y'all. For renewing my spirit. All the time, baby. Cause they be trying to tarnish what's honest. Right. They mad that I'm conscious and we through the monsters. Go. Most people's stories is lies. We got differences. I realize the glory of y'all is magnificent. Glory, I was a starter. I was hardly on the bench. Uh. They got mad at the father. He tried to rob me of my strength. All the time. That's not growth. Uh. I'm respected on the average. Uh. They really didn't know when y'all blessed us established. Uh. Abraham the Isaac, what? Jacob, that's uh. what we all know. Uh. They passed us a torch though. That's why I got a rule. I didn't walk inside this way in my whole life.
I'm the fiend. <laughs> Just don't get it How you bite the hand and feed you I won't let it Jeremiah 9 is so prophetic Rewarding good with evil Yeah, you will regret it Men is I didn't had good times. I didn't walk this side this way yet my whole life. I done seen men go back and forth where there's no strife. I done feel more than the righteous say about eight, nine, and got up ten times. I, you know I just don't get it. How you bite the hand and feed you, I won't let it. Jeremiah 9 is so prophetic. Rewarding good with evil, yeah, you will regret it. Man, it's heavy, so I gotta get this off me Like LeBron playing way, my best friend crossed me We used to dream together, we scheme together Even Share, share, share We scheme together, but uh, now he a your ab type dude And we didn't come to mercy, he ain't showing number When the seat was in front of him, he go grab type dude Israel make me, Israel break me Not to sit and talk about our differences, it's just crazy See, he was David, I was Johnny If he was thirsty, I bring rank to bring him a Dasani You violate, I walk away Smash down on that like button Death for no grudge, but I'm accused If you on your TV Made no restitution yet, but I You can still press the like button I just want y'all way to make my forehead on this damn Just do it with the remote Guide my footsteps Yehovah be my guide Take my yeah, cause I walk among snakes, it's good beyond. Yeah, but yeah, you are my vengeance. If I get bitten, your whole I be mine. Guide my footsteps, your whole I be mine. Protect my footsteps, cause I walk among snakes, it's good beyond. Beyond, it's my vengeance. And if I couldn't go depend on my mister, I should have been able to come lean on my sisters. We should be trading recipes and remedies, but I'm your enemy because your man enemy. And I can't even go to council, they some scammers. I'm from Ohio, how my business in Guyana? You pillow talking with your wife, man, you playing with my life. How did this become the Hebrew stand up? Stand up, feel like I've been betrayed up by my elders. And what? Wanna get on back, but my integrity got me jammed up. Feel like I'm living my 23rd hour. Why is this wickedness coming from those in power? Y'all come down and deliver me from this evil. Y'all, I'm trying not to spaz out on your people. Y'all came down and guess what? He helped me see the same thing I was saying about people. Yeah, people pray about me. My Steps, Yehovah be my guide. Take my footsteps. We gotta have y'all be our guide. We gotta be that change you wanna see. Like Minister Kava say, Yehovah be my. If it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, now I may as well say, If it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us. Listen to the words I'm speaking. Pay attention. It's beneficial for the world. That's why the world ain't doing right, homie. So they story. killing all our leaders, teachers. Uh -huh. Set us up with bogus preachers. Man. We need the most how to free us. Please pay attention to the light, homie. All praise to the Elohim. That's where I get my strength to stand tall like the Anarchy. All praise. Top of the mountain, the getters in can back down like Moses, veil face, glowing yellow beam. Okay, Levy got the sword, hold on the side of the Lord, make war for the new regime. Pick a side. Too many harlots, foreheads, need for dead, ain't wanna say it, but it's time for in house cleaning. Man. Flipping pages through the Torah, not being kept to vein. Modern day sages, this ain't Vegas, we ain't keeping secrets. Black man in America is crabs in a barrel stole by pirates of the Caribbean. John Hawkins, Barbosa, same European. And they got the nerve to try to make us pledge allegiance. Man. Swing low, sweet chariot. Y'all please take us home. We with you tired of living under heathens. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to the words I'm speaking. Please. It's beneficial for your life, homie. Tired of being under heathens. Uh -huh. 
That's why the world ain't doing right, homie. It's on us too. They killing all our leaders, teachers. They set us up with bogus preachers. Woo. We need the most how to free us. Please pay attention to the light, homie. Look, Gabe Tyler, me I plight. That's a rapper's halo overhead, your modern day. Ah. Put that story to bed. Yahweh said, for your sins, no other maker loses life. That's a fact. Your priests wear collar mines, wore a breastplate with sapphires, rubies, ice. ice. Decked out like the back of your multifamily home. In the South, we still living under Rome. Part two. Obedience could bring Judah back to throne. Turn Israel to a house from rejected cornerstone. Whoa. Whoa. Serving yeah. this king still make me ecstatic. Uh -huh. Make me want to sing, instead I'm a rapper. Doing this law presented on tablets. Yeah. Talk about the holy one, you can create a class. Yeah. Your spirit ain't right, no way you can match. Nah. Trust in the Lord and you'll be well established. Yeah. Well established. Yeah. Listen to the words I'm speaking. Fantastic. It's beneficial for your life. Shabbat Shab Shalom, low, <coughs> low key lab. Right, Shabbat Shalom to everyone out there. They're killing all our leaders, teachers. It's a fact. Set us up with bogus preachers. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Who's how to free us? Smash down on that like button. Please, please. Tassels on my shirt. shirt, numbers 15 to 37 verse. Sisters put them on their skirts. Too much lip service, but the fields look deserted when it's time to put in work. Woo. Staring in the window to you so I see the hurt. Yeah. Foolish imagery on TV, don't know what you're worth. We all have a special job, moving with the breath of God until our expiration turn us back to dirt. Whoa. The darker the berry, the more they want to use it for wine. Now use your insecurities to shine. Go ahead, shine. All these trials and tribulations are divine. Yeah. Without pressure, wouldn't be no diamonds in the mind. They prayed up. They prayed Just up. pay homage to the eternal. Too hot to be outside. The streets will burn you. A wise man learns from others' lessons. Yeah, the most high is our only protection. The real truth. Stay the course. Shut up and listen. Shut up and listen. Shut up and listen. Check it. I felt the spirit moving all through my body. I'm Shabbat to the Knesset, to the shouts in the Timbali. I be used to wake me, have me drip. Different fringes, Leviticus 11 diet, no one clean kitchens. Uh -uh. My Ema told me that I'm blessed and that I'm different. Yeah. Keep eyes on my head and speak in Hebrew just for instance. Yeah. Shema Israel, Yehoah Elohim, way hot. Focus on good, great serving. Yehoah is my day job. Okay. Lamb on my fork, no pork, that's a course. Keep the course, but my friends brought influences of sorts. Uh -huh. Felt conflicted, we didn't acknowledge Christmas. Peeping friends, talking toys, and writing out the wish list. I know Santa's just a figment of imagination. The festivities look fun, no exaggeration I love this life, but my zeal started slipping The beginning of my troubles, so check it Check it, a little older now I lash out Rebel against my parents, those whoopings and punishments I can't stand it, sneaking out and go and kick it With all my school friends, take my fringes off But put them on after school ends yeah. Getting in mad trouble, don't try to cover up the loose ends Smoking mad weed and trying to mack to get some new skins Got burnt, skid school and hit the doctor up Pistol in my hand, couple ox cribs, I shot him up Turned 18 and got a felony charge It was good when I was torn, our life's hitting me hard Man, 23 and 1 while I sit in these bars No accountability, y'all, while you deal me these cards Why? And you're starting to boil, I might grilling these guards I was book smart and cool, please deliver me, Lord Broke down in my cell, told y'all to please forgive me I turn my back, I'm gon' change, I just hope that he hears me, yeah like La Nu. Yeah, if you can hear me, please forgive me. Please deliver me out of this. I get my word, I'ma speak the truth. Please, y'all. Check it, wrote my email, told I'm sorry for all the disrespect She sent me a couple key pods and a tonight for the intellect Got it so the guards don't bother me on Sabbath Brothers in my war like me teaching them the lessons Praying throughout the day and my commissary's clean Crazy how the prison system is filling out my needs Hallelujah. Beat the calendar, another month to my release date Yeah, I give my word, I'ma teach truth and keep faith Hallelujah. Got release and my Abba was there to pick me up Cried on his shoulder, say I'm sorry, my spirit lift me up yeah. Now I'm back doing work at the camp and have a testimony so Told that your hoe, I'm back to living holy I'm very far from perfect and I always take rebuke I show love to all my people and I never drop the nuke yeah. I pray every time before I step up off this stoop Follow yeah. Yon, not your friends, have to share some real truth, yeah
Hallelujah. All right. Yahava, I don't know which tune you want me to run back. So you got to tell me which tune is um, specific you want me to run back so I can run it back. So Shalom. Um, Sha'alti, are you back? I think we we stalled I'm enough. I'm here, here, baby. I'm All right. here. There we go. So um, hear me we hear you loud and clear, and we hear your yellow dean loud and clear. So we all have a pain. We all, <laughs> my children have a voice too. <laughs> Everyone has a voice. Yes. So the topic, so the topic today is, I guess the topic today is um is suicide in lieu of what happened in the um this past week with um DJ Twitch, the 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 DJ from the Ellen show, um commit suicide. That's what is reported thus far. Um, with suicide, I'm all I'm always kind of leery about it because black people. I know this is gonna sound ignorant. <laughs> um, Nazir, sister Nazir, I also heard the same thing that you said about him putting all his his Kesev into crypto and that FTX file and um, cryptocurrency and whatever it was and. That thing went kaput. A lot of people lost a lot of cash seven that. So they said he um he took his life. So now us as black people, this is just a side note. Us as black people, we've been living with our money for years. We come, a lot of us come from nothing. So even if we lose it all, it's not common for us to kill ourselves, you know, when we when we lose it all. So that's one of the things that kind of got me, Larry, when it comes to suicide and stuff like that. I'm also, you know, because black people usually don't kill themselves for that. I'm not saying black people do not or never kill themselves for that, but I'm saying it's not a common thing. Um, so, you know, that's that's one of the things that's floating out there, and that's one of the things that people are leery about, um, that people are questioning whether or not this is... Um, there was some foul play. Police said there was no foul play. Hey. All right, so Deborah um, Max says that may not be true. Okay, so, you know, it's just a lot of stuff, speculation out there. But um, the question tonight is, is committing suicide against Torah? <laughs> also, I'm sure he knew more than a few things about Ellen. <laughs> I mean, Ellen don't really got nothing to hide. She already is what she is. So, um, but you know, regardless of that, um, how are we gonna start this? I know there's a lot going on in the chat, Sister Rhonda. Did you um did you catch some of that stuff? Yeah, um I I I kind of zeroed in on what Nasik Rob said. Um earlier in the chat and he says um what's the consequences for murder in the torah if suicide is murder is the penalty self-inflicted mm. meaning you it's okay. kind of like your own ju you could yeah, you did. you got your own judgment you put your own yeah. judgment on yourself yeah mm. and therefore would it still be considered murder because you're dead right and this is the right. catch. When you look up the law for murder and whatnot, guess what comes up? What? The Avenger of Blood. The Avenger of Blood. If someone committed murder, the Avenger of Blood has the right to take that person's life back. And so in a case where you take your own life, there is no Avenger of Blood. And therefore, if there is no Avenger of Blood, that's why this is not murder. So, so, I, so I want to go to Genesis chapter 9, verse 5 and 6. It says, And surely your blood of your lives will I require. At the hand of every beast will I require it. And at the hand of men, at the hand of every man's brother, will I require the life of a man. Who's, whoever sheds man's blood 
By man shall his blood be shed, for in the image of God he made man. So um, I know there's a lot there, but I think the important thing is in the image of God he made man. So we are a reflection in the image of the creator. I think if we take our lives, I think that... Um, I think that there is a, I believe that there is a sin in that. Um, I believe that there is something in that that is inherently wrong, especially, and I know that this is a touchy sub subject and I don't want to make light of it because, you know, you have people dealing with depression, you have people dealing with, um, with um, m um, chemical imbalances, you have a lot of things going on, stress, people, you know, thinking about things that are just not, um, that are just not healthy and you don't know what goes through a person's uh, mind when they when they do these acts and where they commit when they commit these acts. I remember when Robin Williams Pat when he killed himself. You know, he left a note basically saying that he couldn't take it anymore. And every time you see Robin Williams, he was smiling. And oh, mm -hmm. he made people smile. So if there was no and you know, it's not really about money because he had money. Um, Naomi Judd had money. There's a lot of people that commit suicide with a lot of money. So I don't think that, I mean, money could cost you to commit suicide, but, you know, it's something more sometimes with some people than money. So I think that, I think there is something to committing suicide that um, the Most High God would not be happy with you taking your life um, for no reason whatsoever, uh, especially when you have, when you have family and people that depend on you, you have children, you have certain things or, or certain groups of people that are waiting for you. You know, if he, he had young children, did he think about that? Um, I know somebody put in the chat that it's a, it's a selfish, it's a selfish act. Um, but like I said, it's a sensitive subject and we don't know how people minds are working or, or the things that cause people to, to, to do these things. Sometimes people commit suicide from, um, it's not even like, um, like a real suicide, but it's induced by, you know, um, how they call those hallucin hallucinogenics. And Hallucinate. You, yeah. Like you take, like you take something and you think you're invincible. You jump off the, 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 the 10th floor of the building, you know, it's just, it's could be different things that cause, you know, these type of actions to happen. But we're talking about the the mental stress and the depression and those type of things and whether the most high God, whether it's, is, is, is it acceptable before the eyes of the creator? You know, if you're going through something. You also have people that, um, I remember there was a doctor by the name of Dr. Co Jack Kevorkian. Back in the days, people that had these like... Um, Terminals. Yeah, terminal um, diseases and things that, you know, they were just suffering and were in, in, like, great pain that he will create this cocktail and basically, you know, leave it there for you and you just press the button and it will, oh, you know, it will, it will be a small drip into your vein and, and basically, you know, it was like a lethal <laughs> injection and you would die because people were suffering. So there's a lot of different things. Um, is it us trying to play God when we take our lives? Um, is it us trying to um, get away from our judgment? Maybe your judgment is to suffer with some pain. You know, I I don't know. I don't know. I'm not trying to be insensitive. I'm not trying to be cruel. And I know a lot of people are going through things. But I don't know. These are why we have discussions and why we talk. And maybe I don't want to say maybe you have to go through pain. Maybe that's the wrong choice of words because you no, don't want anyone but, to go through pain. But, but everybody goes everybody goes through pain. And the questions you are asking are right on target because each of us individually has to answer these questions when we go through stress, yeah. right? right? We go through things, lives and trauma and stress and don't know how to handle it. And so... The selfish word part of it is saying, I give up and I don't want to deal with it anymore. This is the easy way out, right? 
And some people might look at it as selfish, but again, as you mentioned, we don't know what's going on at the minds of the people. And so when you brought this topic to me, the first thing I thought about was, how could we help our people to avoid that, right? And we have, and this, this is why I love our Torah and our history and the scriptures, the Holy, the Old Testament, the Holy Scriptures, because we have every example of life. And we can look to these examples and see the reason what made these men take their own lives. You brought up um, Ahitophel. We brought up King Saul. We brought up Samson. And these examples, each man took the thought to take their own life for whatever reason. And so what I look at is what can we do to avoid getting to that level of stress? Yeah. Right? We all have families. We all have jobs. But how can we avoid the stressful part, and we alluded to it, we talked about it last week, the mental health part, you know, how to keep your mental health in a positive state so that you don't fall down down that rabbit hole to want to commit suicide. And I think, so this, for that, for that part of this conversation, yeah, we should talk about it, understanding that we don't know what everybody is going through, but we want to help aid and overcoming your stress. We want to help aid and give you resources or things that could give you strength so that you don't feel like you want to go down that hole. And I just, I have a few precepts that I've written down that I would like to share, which will help give us strength within our own personal lives. And then we could dive into the brother himself and, you know, the Ellen show. And you brought up Robin Williams and a lot of these rich men or rich people who uh, have the means to sustain their families even after their death, Right. We look at whether it's life insurance, whether it's we have wills. I hope everybody has a living will. I hope everybody are putting their affairs in order in the event because we don't know when we'll go, whether suicide or not. So we should still have wills and certain things in place for our families, especially men, for your wives, your houses, your children. We should always prep because you never know what's going to happen. And those examples are in even what a hito fella said. He went home and set his house in order before he took his life. What did that mean? Well, how did he set his house in order? So we understand that a lot of folks like the, the DJ and Robin Williams who are exposed to the industry and, and so and media and entertainment where, you know, their lives, um, they have may felt like it wasn't their own or they had no more control over their life. They had no more control over their decisions. So they decided to make certain, you know, suicidal things. But however, they, like I said, might have put their quote unquote house in order, right? Um, and the, and the, I looked up the brother DJ and he turned his phone off. He put his phone into the airplane mode. And I'm going to get to the scriptures in a minute. He put his phone into airplane mode uh, so that he couldn't be reached. His wife says he left his house and went to a hotel and did this thing, right? So he kind of had it in his mind, his, his, his intentions. So we don't know if he spoke to a lawyer prior to or if he made certain, uh, you know, things for his children. We don't know what he did for his children or not, but we can see that there was clear intent on what he was going to do. Um, the scriptures that I have that might give us strength when we're stressed or feeling down or feel like there's no way out or don't have any hope or don't know what the most high is doing. Cause that's the other thing. We sometimes feel like the most high forgot about us or he turned his back on us. So we feel like God is not hearing us or God is not answer. The most high is not answering our prayers or whatnot. And so I love the book of Isaiah for this. The prophet Isaiah hones in on a lot of this stuff. Uh, we got chapter 12, Isaiah chapter 12, verses one through six. We have Isaiah chapter 30. Um, Isaiah chapter 30, starting at like verse 18. And again, you got chapter 41s, 42s, the 43s, all the 40s, if you ask me. We have Isaiah chapter 25, verses one through five. Right. Isaiah chapter 25, verses one through five. And these are just words um, that when you read them, you can get uplifted and read it. Know that the most high is still there for you and help answer your prayers. We have Psalms, Psalms 85, Psalms 138, Psalms 118, 
Psalms 107. Um, and then we have Deuteronomy, which is my favorite. Deuteronomy chapter 5, verses 25 through 30. Uh, these are just some things that I've written down that helps me. Um, and then I read, you know, when you feel like there's nobody else there to talk to, you don't know what the answers are, you don't see no solution tomorrow, and you just want to give up. Now, I don't know about y'all, but sometimes I've been wanting to give up, you know? People might not, they might be afraid to talk about suicidal thoughts that they had, but we have might have gone through so much stress that you feel like, ah, when you look at Job, Job said, curse me the day I was born. I wish I was never here. He never committed suicide, but he went through so much that he just wished he wasn't alive, right? And so we have these examples to look to in our Tanakh um, as to how to overcome it so that we don't fall down that rabbit hole. And the men that we mentioned, like the DJ, Robin Williams, certain men that we see right now, they lack spiritual guidance. They lack a spiritual outlet. And, and that's what we have when we have our Torah as Hebrew Israelites. We have a spiritual outlet to help relieve ourselves of the stress. If we know how to tap in, if we know what spirituality is and how to tap into that spiritual source, it's here. I've given you verses to help you gain spiritual strength so that you don't feel like the world is over. But a lot of these people don't have it. And this is what separates the Kanye West and what makes people think he's crazy. He was going through a lot, too. He found the most high, even Kyrie Irving. They didn't give up. He said, you know what? I turned to the most high, and, and, and I'll speak. And they'll you know, speak and talk about it. But they still hold on to the most high. And so they, by holding on to the most high, you know that there is a future. There is a bigger picture. And, 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 and this is the selfish part because you realize life is not about you. Right. People give up because like, oh, my world is over and you give your life and you take your life. And that's why people understand that whole selfish concept. I do understand it, but it's bigger than that. Spirituality gives us something bigger than that. And I hope those verses help understand. But I going back to the question, is it murder? No, I don't. I don't think it's murder because, again, there's no avenger of blood. Right. Um, and so. The, the law of murder, if you take an innocent life and being premeditated, this guy had intent. Was it premeditated? Did he have time to think about it over time? A lot of suicidal cases is instant. You know what? I can't take it anymore. I'm going to write a letter. I love you. Da, 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 da. I'm going to just go do it because I don't know how to process all these thoughts. I don't know how to channel all of my feelings. I don't know what to do with all this. And that just seems like it's, it's so much and it keeps coming. It keeps coming. It keeps coming. I'm going to end it right now. That's not so much premeditated. That's just more so uh, reacting off a of feeling and don't know how to react off the feeling. And we all go through this. Some of us spaz it out. We curse people out. We say things that we don't mean. You lash out. You might even curse out your boss or a teacher or, or someone in authority because you just, you're overwhelmed. And that happens. We being overwhelmed is a natural part of life and don't know how to channel it. And so that part we have to talk about. Again, it goes back to the mental health of last week. And having these conversations gives us strength so that we don't fall down these rabbit holes. But at the same time, again, this stuff be instant. It be a spread in a moment that you just, you know, you got to take it. And then there's something else happening. There's something else happening. It's like I said, when it rains, it pours. It's just like, ah. But those are the moments where you stop, pause, and say, what is the most high trying to tell me? Let me see if I, if I could just be still and listen to the overall message. Maybe I should slow down. Maybe there's a bigger picture in all of this, and I need to just hone in on what that message is. And hopefully those scriptures help, and these conversations like this help us as well. Hey, I just want to say this, and I see, I see it in the chat. Um, I know that this is going to spiral into a bunch of other stuff, and it's good because we need to have this conversation and it's good that it spirals into other things. I think tonight is going to be more of of a therapeutic type of thing, more so than us going back and forth. Um, but the question for tonight is whether suicide or not is against Torah. I know and I know that a lot of people are putting things and um and it's true. Like um I know you were speaking about um the Torah passages and, and that's important and that's essential. Even even when a person is going through like um any type of um 
they said like if you're fighting um like a like a terminal illness like cancer or not terminal but if you're fighting cancer and you went through a surgery and you're trying to recover a lot of times even the doctors tell you you know hold on to your faith if you believe in God and they they actually tell you people who believe in God are are the people that survive or have the better spirit and they tend to survive versus the people that don't believe in God and they let their spirits down. So the trust and belief in the Most High God is is very, very important. But what about the people that are so deep into a depression that, you know, they don't, they can't even... um, like they read the Psalms, but the Psalms is not resonating with them. They're reading the 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 um they're reading verses, Bible verses every day. They're trying to really get into it and understand it, and it's still something um malfunctioning. Now, sometimes there is a chemical imbalance. And I know that within our community, sometimes we we um we don't like to um think of that or think that sometimes we got like an imbalance and that you have to go take medication. Uh, But sometimes people have an imbalance and it's more so than just your depression or you being held down. You actually need something to straighten you back out. You know, it could be for a moment, but it could be for, for life. Um, Or you go through certain things like um, schizophrenia and, is you know it's it's a bunch of things. That's why I said this thing could go into into so many other places when we talk about it. But we got Sister Rhonda, um, and also you know, like I said, this is a serious topic. So I just want to keep it in in terms of because there might be people here listening that's going through some of the things that we're talking about. So we don't want to be insensitive and kind of like minimize this or. That's why we're so careful in, in speaking about this because we don't want to make this uh, minimal and, and act like, you know, Israelites don't go through this because we have God. No, Israelites go through this also, even with the Most High God, you know, having the Most High God. So, um, Sister Rhonda, do you have um, anything for us over there? Yeah, I have a couple things. I also I wanted to just share, you know, uh, like you just said, that amongst us we do have family members amongst us that are struggling and they're looking and they're looking for some sort of help. So I always want to direct everyone as a clinician myself. I also want to d- direct people to the suicide hotline. Not only is that hotline just for you know if you think um, you're thinking about harming yourself, it also can help with depression. It can help you with um, other life issues um, that's going on, you know, you can always call 311 and that's from anywhere um, in the United States. You can always call 311 for help. But the suicide hotline um, number is 1 800 273 8255, or you can just dial 988 and that'll get you to uh, a suicide counselor. So I just wanted to make sure that everybody knew that that was available. Can you repeat that again and 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 when you get a chance, write it in the chat. That's I for will. anyone. Because a lot of times, you know, um, you go to like spiritual leaders or you go to someone. Um, sometimes spiritual leaders don't have the answer for you. Sometimes you 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 have to be di- the reality. Sometimes you have to be diagnosed, and sometimes you have to be balanced out. Yeah. Um, it's easier for a person. It's easy for a person who does not have certain things um, going on with them to say, just trust in the most high God and it'll be all right. Yeah. Everyone mm-hmm. is not, everyone, everyone brain is not wired the same. Some people are actually on medications in order to get their brains correct. I know some of you are going to try to kill me for this, but this is the reality and this is the truth. I never want to be a person that... Um, causes someone to lose their lives because I'm not listening, you know, in the way that I should be listening or, or looking at the signs, you know, um, sometimes you need, you need experts that went to school to deal Mm -hmm. with certain things. Mm -hmm. Some, some of us, we could uplift people. We could give people spiritual guidance, 
but that's for a person who's wired a certain way. But in other, you know, in other cases, you have people that are wired differently that just your, your spiritual, the spiritual counsel is just, that's not, that's not going to work. So you because we to... because we as we as black people we know how to pray. That's one thing we we know how to do is pray. And yes, spiritual counseling um, plays a part in mental health, but not the whole construct of you know getting help. Um, one of the things that um, um, I shared, like I shared last last week, I personally, when my sister passed away last year, I personally went through a deep depression that, but it was one of those, um, um, you don't know you're depressed until you turn up, when you look around and you look at your life and just wonder why is it all, why it's all in shambles. You don't even know you're just in a functioning depressive state that you go to work, you do all the things that you, you're, you're coming home, you're, um, you might not wash the dishes like you normally do or clean your house like you normally do, but you're just, you're functional, you're being a function, being functionally depressed. So there's so many different levels to depression uh, that if you don't have some sort of intervention can lead to uh, maybe suicide and things like that. Um, but you have to kind of know who you are, uh, know that um, sometimes you will have some moments of clarity during the depression where you're sitting back and you're looking at yourself. And sometimes that state makes you more depressed if you can't really pull yourself up out of that that dark hole. But I know a lot of us um, go through that every day, that we're walking around, going to work, doing the day-to-day -to -day things, but we are depressed. And um, we talk about medications. Me, I'm not a big proponent of medications, but in this in this instance, I am because um, I was told before that um, medications they don't stop the prop. It's like an umbrella. Uh, it doesn't stop the rain, but it stops you from getting wet. It's still going to rain. It's still going to do that. The, that's what the medication does. It's not going to stop these things from happening in your life, but it allows you to be able to deal with it and have some clarity um, um, while you're trying to get through it. So, you know, I want us to, uh, if we're in a, in a situation where we just feel like we can't get out of, sometimes it's not even um, medication. It could just be therapy, talking it out um, to someone that doesn't even know you. And you can just let it out. You can just let it out without feeling judged um, um, in situations like that. So uh, it's so many options out there. So I want to make sure that we, as we start having this talk tonight, that we can explore some of those options. And I think, I think that's important what you said in, in terms of counseling. Yes, some people don't have, and the, and the only thing I'm, I'm speaking about in terms of, of um, medication is for those people that have the chemical imbalance. When you're in balance, nothing is, right. else is going to get you back balanced. If you, you know, if you don't have the right, I guess, medication to balance you out, because mm -hmm. I, so, in some cases you don't have to stay on it forever. You just have to get balanced out. But the problem is, the people who need it, you know, i.e., Kanye West, they mm -hmm. don't think nothing is wrong with them. So therefore, they don't take the medication, and and you, and you continue in the in the rabbit hole that you continue in. But wait a and, minute, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You throw, <laughs> you throw you throw Kanye West in there all the time. So I okay. just I just let me. But but I do want to say this in terms of the counseling, right? And I think what's very important is this, and why people a lot of times might not go to, to elders in the Israelite community. Um, you have to find someone that's trustworthy. Because like, mm -hmm. cause like um, uh, um, Alina said in her song, um, how we how we so-and-so, but my business is in Guyana. Right, you know? right. So if I'm going through some depression, I'm going through some, a mental state, and as an elder or as a leader, someone comes to you, that's supposed to just die with you. 
regardless of whatever, you know, when a person expresses certain things to you and you helping them, certain things is just supposed to just die with you and stay right. with you because, you know, then the person can, not then we can't go to anyone that we could trust. You have to go to people you could trust to be able to pour your soul and then get good, righteous advice and to be able to, to move forward. So those are different instances and different um, um, different circumstances. But yeah, the, the and question, we do have to feel comfortable, yeah, uh, and uh, trust is a big factor, like like you just said, and we have to feel comfortable doing that. And um, um, I'm not afraid to say that therapy has been one of the things that have helped has helped me on this journey. It's like you gotta talk to somebody, and I I I wanted to talk to someone that looked like me. But I also wanted that could understand a little better. Um, I didn't want to talk to someone that just told me to just go and pray <laughs> because I know how to pray. I know I've been praying, but it's some other things that you just need some some tools to just say when you're feeling like this, this is what you should do. Or when you're doing or when you're going through this, this is what you do. You need to set boundaries here and 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 do that. So yeah, um, sometimes it might be out of it, might necessarily need to be out of the community just so you can get the help you need. And then sometimes, and that's unfortunate. Okay, go ahead. That we don't have these professionals in our community. This is what your leader not should be, but when you look at judges or officers in our book, these were professional trained men, and so we need more professionals. We need more professionals that know how to diagnose with Kanye West so that we don't have just anybody saying this crazy. <laughs> I'm okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, but no, but it's a true diagnosis. And a lot of the times, and we're going to still use the Kanye West, right? Because if you ask him, he doesn't think he's crazy. You understand what I'm saying? We don't realize in our own state what state we're in. And this is why it is important to seek professionals, professional help. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm always big on, you know, counsel and talking to elders and people in our community. But I've learned and I've gotten a lot of my best help from people who were not out, a third party, a third year who know nothing about Hebrew Israelite or, or, or Jewish for that matter. And they just judge the situation or tell you about the situation based on the situation. No emotional attachment. And these are what we call professionals, right? And they look at many cases of many different people. And there's nothing wrong with seeking counsel. Okay. It's taboo. And we talked about that last week. Is we think to find a professional is important um, outside of the Hebrew Israelite community. And then when you do have someone that you do trust in a Hebrew Israelite community. I know a lot of people trust Chief of Chiefs. Yeah, bless his memory. I trust the Chief of Chiefs. Chief of Chiefs will give you some sound wisdom. Sure based did. on, the And he wouldn't be biased. And, he, and, and, and he'll give you his own personal examples that he could relate to to help you understand. And even though that was good, because after he gave you his personal examples, he would give you the spiritual side according to his understanding of Torah. But that was still only a small piece. I still needed that professional to help me overcome these yeah. challenges. And yeah. we forget that we do this Shabbat thing. We we only talk to each other one day out of the week. There's six whole days that we have with this outside world. That's right. Whether school, whether work, there's five or six whole days that we don't even commune with our sabbatical family, quote unquote. And so... We have to know how to utilize both resources to help us be whole and complete. But I do want to get back to the scriptural part of it, right? As far as why it might be murder or why it might not be murder and use the examples of Ahitophel. Ahitophel, was he stressed or was he feared for his life, right? He committed treason and he went against the king. And uh, him go and this is in the book of Second Samuel, chapter 15, right? You can look it up. Second Samuel, chapter 14, 15, 16, 17. I encourage you to read all of them because don't just read one chapter, read before and read after so you get a good understanding of the story, uh, which I did today. But um <laughs> he he went against the king 
to have his Absalom become king. And so now this is treason. You don't go against the king. You don't conspire against the king. Anyone who does that is automatic death. And when Ahitophel found out that his counsel, his wisdom that he told Absalom, what he told him to do, when he found out that everybody else knew about it, that King David knew about it, that's when he feared for his life. Because if, if nobody would have found out that he gave that counsel, that it came from him, would he have still taken his own life, right? So word got back, and then he got a friend. And this is why it's like, if you're going to do something, that's truthful. You don't have to hide it. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to sneak it. If you're doing something that's honest and truthful, it don't have to be hidden or a secret. But Ahitophel knew that whatever he was doing should not have been done. And the only thing that happens after that is death. And that's what Ahitophel was facing. He said, well, surely if King David know that I'm the one who counseled and did this against the king, he's going to come after my life. And as the book reads, he went home, he got his house in order. And then he strangled himself. He hung himself on a rope. I say that he did that out of fear of losing his own life. Now, the stress part comes in in that, right? Because, oh my gosh, David heard about this. I'm, a, I'm afraid. He starts stressing and don't know how to handle it or don't know where to go or don't know resources or who to talk to to help him alleviate that. But ultimately, what his life been taken anyway, Right? And, and we're going to let's talk about that in the scriptural part. Let's just talk about this story so that that way we're not stepping on anybody's toes and we can use this example to help us, you know, advocate our point. I so go ahead, go ahead, sister. Ron. No, no, no. I, 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 I did want to read something from Brother Z Ziev. Am I saying it right? Ziev. Ziev. <laughs> um, and, um, in, in kind of a response to this, but just in general, and then we could just mesh it all together. How about that? Okay. Okay. Um, he said, um, Saul created his death by not killing everything. Kinship got taken, made matters worse by doing abhorrent acts that led to his death or demise. Shimshon married a foreigner and trusted her when she did not have his best interest at heart that led to his demise after Yah said, don't intermarry. For instance, in the Tanakh, when someone causes a self-inflicted death, it is a consequence of the disobedience beforehand. Okay. Um, if I kill someone for no justifiable reason, in Torah, that equals murder. So if you kill yourself for no justifiable reason, which there isn't one in Torah, that equals murder. That's the way, and that's the way. Um, I think that's the way most of most people see it. That even if you're taking your own life, that that's murder. And I, I believe, you know, and just being, you know, sensitive to the topic and who, uh, how people feel. But I do believe that that is, um, that is a form of murder. That's the way I was taught. It by Chief of Chiefs. <laughs> right. Ironically, he's the one that taught us, and and he's the one that put it in those words, and he would refer to if uh, you know we're made in the image of God, and basically we have no right to to take away our lives. That it's God like gives. the unpardonable sin, right? Yeah, it's like there is no way, and you know, and then that, that goes into. And and I don't want to go into this rabbit hole, but you got people that believe about that believe life after death. Even is you know you got Israelites that believe that there's something after this, you know. And so, um, is that forgiven in the afterlife, and you know all that sort of stuff. So is it is it, it's, it's a lot of stuff. So is is you know is a hip to fell. He felt the stress that was coming upon him. And that stress was called King David because he knew that that counsel that he gave to Absalom was good. And Absalom, did, he, he decided to listen to everyone else except his counsel. Um, you also, um, well, Job never did it. Um, his wife and his friends saw him curse God and die. Um, right. 
um, what's the other one? We said King Saul. King um, Saul I fell see on that his they sword. Say, okay, he fell on his sword. Um, and he and he, he finished himself. And, death. Off. and that's what my was. A lot of these people were facing death. King Saul. King Saul was wounded. He was wounded, and he asked his armor bearer to um to take him out because he 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 had like a mortal wound. So he was like, I don't want these people to have fun in killing me. So you kill me. The armor bearer said, I'm not going to do that. So King Saul fell on his own sword. His armor bearer fell on his own sword. They both committed suicide, I guess. You know, Saul finished himself off. And uh, the, the armor bearer committed suicide. Um, and I don't know if, if Shimshon was so much suicide more so than, I guess, a suicide because he knew he would die in the midst of all of it. So, um, but was the cause greater than just his life? I think these are all different parts to to, to different to different um things. You know, it's it's just it's a lot. It's well, a lot to unravel. But I th <laughs> but I do think that taking your own life, I do think that taking your own life is not correct. I do think so. Now, you know, you have people with opposing opinions and opposing views, which is okay. And I just want to say this, all right? Because sometimes when we have these discussions, um, and you see me and, and especially me and Shaltiel, you will see us opposing each other. But at the end of it, and, and even disagreeing and disagreeing harshly, but it never gets to the point where we are insulting each other, right? Or or just thinking that our point is just the greatest point. We actually debate. We go back and forth, right? And at the end of the discussion, whether I agree with him or not, we still have love for each other. It's no, I'm, I don't think any less of him, and he doesn't think any less of me. I think that sometimes some people, not all, you got a handful of people that if, you know, they, you know, it's the words and how you use words that that you offend other people and you and we need to be conscious of it. If you're going to make your point, make your point strongly, but you don't have to use certain words that you know are going to offend, right? Because then that gets into other stuff and, you know, people get offended and whatnot. This is an open discussion for everyone to be able to express themselves. In fact, I think on this topic, I might open up the phone lines and let people call in, all right? So um, I don't know if, if any one of you had anything else to say because I'm about ready to open up the phone line to hear some of these um, some of these people. <laughs> I think you should. I think, I think you I should. should. What mm -hmm. you said, Shout Hill? No, I'm always for it, Chief. Um, and I like what you said, you know, as far as... Uh, we don't get offended, man. It doesn't change the love for each other. And they, there's a saying that says, hurt people hurt people. Right. And so a lot of times when people say things, it's intentional to hurt others. Well, you know, the question then becomes why, you know, but because you're hurt. And if you're hurt, you want to hurt someone else. All of these things are good. And I think you should open the lines. I would like to play some music a little bit first before you do that. But if I may, um, one last thing I wanted to, to get to was about um, the, all of these examples that we use in whether Samson, King Saul, and Hittophel, all of these men, yeah, took their lives for all total different reasons. And we could look at right. all of their lives differently to say, well, he did it because it is, or he did it because it is, or he did it because it is. The, the key that what we need to learn is it's all, was it all good or was it all bad? And we have examples to show what we can do to learn from it. And as somebody wrote in the chat, I think it was Shama, Shama Eliezer, he said, the Most High never said it's sin by doing it. We've never heard back to say whether taking your own life was wrong or, or not, whether it was good or bad. We just hear these stories and say this one took it. Even when Hitto fell, he struggled himself. That was the end of that. Saul fell on the sword. That was the end of that. Samson, he crushed it, and that was the end of that. So there's no real answer to define if it's murder or if not murder. 
it's good dialogue to give us strength so that we don't succumb to the same things. That's why we have these talks. That's why we read scriptures. That's why we're practicing Israelites. So we don't fall down the same rabbit hole as our forefathers. And we can learn from what they did and utilize our resources that we have today to help us overcome our stress, our our mental health issues, and all of these things. Amen. Well said. And Sister Rhonda, um, can you um, put that, repeat that number again? Yes, uh, absolutely. Um, it's the suicide hotline, but it's also the crisis hotline. So yeah. even if you're not feeling suicidal, but you're having other um, mental health issues, um, you can also, you can call this line as well. It's um, 1-800-237-8255. Or you can just dial 988. And if you're in the United States, um, there's several services that you can get in your own areas just by calling 311. I'm going to put that in the chat right now. Hallelujah. So what we're going to do, people, we're going to play a couple of songs, then we're going to open up the lines. Don't forget the topic um, is committing suicide against Torah. So that number is 347-622-9090. But first, we're going to play a couple of tunes, and we're going to come back to this topic. I promise, Sister Rhonda, we're going to end at 11 tonight. <laughs> Last week, Sister Rhonda was yawning. That was the first. I'm usually the one. I'm usually the one falling asleep on the camera. <laughs> That was me. <laughs> <laughs> she was yawning last week. She was like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Man, I'm tired. <laughs> so um, play a couple of tunes and then uh, we'll come back to this topic. Okay. New one from Zeb Benyamin. First and foremost, praise Yah. Shout out to all the children of Yah. Shut up and listen, yeah, uh, knowledge, wisdom, understanding, shared with the nation, zeal for all my people, never hating, no mistaking, tear down my brethren, rather eat a plate of bacon, and leave this blessing for a cross, praising family, y'all forsaken, it's not happening, knowledge and wisdom, the closed captioning, rationing the truth, ain't the aim like the Vatican, be adding it, all for the unity and scrutiny, every chance I get to prophesize an opportunity, to wake up the blind, tainted minds of our mishpock, of being proper, low soothsayers in the witch doctors, spit knowledge, trying to better the cause, only way to salvation is acknowledging law, let's get Knowledge, wisdom, understanding We'll do our standing All praises to the most high His laws and commandments The hot cock Mabina here to push it through your speakers Judgment, truth, and love Should be coming from the leaders Yeah, knowledge, wisdom, understanding We'll do our standing All praises to the most high His laws and commandments The hot cock Mabina here to push it through your speakers Judgment, truth, and love Should be coming from the leaders Yeah, to our word, your friends Just give praises to the most high Veer from that new And that book is the most lie no ties, we just give donations to the fellowships Places where you go, hand out and go on fellowship Settlement, that just means the place where you live at Ignore the holy days, that's a lie, where you get that? Lies red, a steel tongue makes a wise head Listen to Yehovah, not what another guy said Timbalis for the praises, knowledge for the ages Steady in the walk, don't stop or be complacent Don't follow the folly of these nations Keep the Sabbath, give your whole all praises, read the law and speak truth, pull yourself up by the boots. Wisdom over wealth, call it love over loot, replace I for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. For our sights on the finish and the mouth for reproof, let's get Knowledge, wisdom, understanding, we'll do our standing, all praises to the most high, his laws and commandments. The hot cock Medina here to push it through your speakers, judgment, truth, and love should be coming from the leaders. Yeah, knowledge, wisdom, understanding We'll do our standing, all praises to the most high His laws and commandments The hot cock Mabina here to push it through your speakers Judgment, truth, and love should be coming from the leaders Yeah Versus sunny, it then it rains. 
before you get healed, you feel the pain. With every loss, there comes a game. We only grow when we change. Nothing in life stays the same. To everything, there's a season and purpose to every time. When y'all ordering your steps, you be perfectly aligned. On the interiors is dirt, but on the surfaces they shine. You can't fix nobody else except the person that's inside. It always helps when you humble, but it hurts when you got pride. A new baby just born, someone's mother just died. It's called the circle of life. We take everything and stride. And know for everything that's good, it's always another side. The harsh realities. Nights feel like winter in my mind But when I read the book of y'all I'm back to the summertime It's the balance for me Except the blessing with the curse See some relationships in But what's the lesson that you learn? That Yahweh gives And Yah takes away And all things blessed Be the name of Yahweh Yahweh gives And Yah takes away And all things blessed Be the name of Yahweh Yahweh gives And Yah takes away And all things blessed Be the name of Yahweh Yahweh gives, and Yah takes away, and all things blessed be the name of Yahweh. Uh. A good name's to be chosen, better than precious myrrh. In the day of one's death, it's always better than a birth. Better to go in the house of mourning, than in the house of laughing. The heart is better when it go through sadness. Weeping may endure all through the night, but joy comes in the morning, so we look for the light. Just know the adversary gon' send them tests to get you. Always remain patient in spirit, you can't have anger resting with you. Consider the work of God, don't overlook it. Can't make nothing straight if Yahweh make it crooked. Don't get caught up in the times, cause they never last forever. So when adversity come to your door, it's time to consider. Why the man perish early who is just so we can live a long life? Don't be wise over much or too corrupt. It's the best. Balance for me, except the blessing with the curse. See some relationships in, but what's the lesson that you learn that Yahweh gives and Yah takes away, and all things blessed be the name of Yahweh. Yahweh gives and Yah takes away, and all things blessed be the name of Yahweh. Yahweh gives and Yah takes away, and all things blessed be the name of Yahweh. Yahweh gives and Yah takes away, and all things blessed be the name of Yahweh. Where you at, Aaliyah?
Don't forget to smash that like button. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Na na na. 
So we are deal with them. No fake music, we no sing your gospel. No, we no under no spell. No, we no conjure up spell. We chant your name, call your name a ring bell. Trample with trample, be a bell, Israel. Trample with trample, be a bell, Israel. Trample with trample, be a bell, true sons of Jacob, Leon, Rachel, Israel. Trample with trample, be a bell, Israel. Trump will be Trump will be a bell, sons of the ancients for the world of Marvel, Israel. Hey. Music. Uh-huh. Lot of mercy. Yeah. Well, they say I don't more shit. So we are deal with them. No fake music, we no sing your gospel. No, we no under no spell. No, we no conjure up spell. We chant your name, call your name a ring bell. Trump will be Trump will be a bell, Israel. Trump will be Trump will be a bell, Israel. Trump will be Trump will be a bell, true sons of Jacob, Leah and Rachel, Israel. Trump will be Trump will be a bell, Israel. Trump will be Trump will be a bell, Israel. Trump will be Trump will be a bell, sons of the ancients, what the world of Marvel, Israel. Hey, strive with divine and man and prevail Crush the serpent head on the ear Left with nothing for shit nor skill Most of you making now for shit nor feel Yes, me lion dead head on the chill This is a young chain on the real No more Jacob face or wax peel Pop me head, me not have no for seal Neither retail, neither wholesale mm, Real you heard him, they want to hold me coat deal Now hesitate to pull them coat deal Anytime they want to come tell me be a tears When I time for strong up and no time fi get free Love righteousness cause it never get steal Now nah, turn back fi fish with our box like fi quail Yeah we praise with zeal Trump will be Trump will be a bell Israel Trump will be Trump will be a bell Israel Trump will be Trump will be a bell True sons of Jacob, Leah and Rachel Israel Trump will be Trump will be a bell Israel Trump will be Trump will be a bell Israel Trump will be Trump will be a bell Sons of the ancients what the world of Marvel Israel Get them trampling scope on Babylon while I'm camping Lords that come Commandments like a knowledge cause damage, eating jerk chicken, white rice and fried plantains, breaking bread with my family, talking about time management, sitting in traffic, busting combo, playing the candy crush, two birds with one stone to keep adding up, something for the soul, eucalyptus with the lavender, 
pressure bust pipes paralyzed with the dragon's touch sons of the ancient Israel is God favorites cold world basket robbers 31 flavors connect the dots roots from Abraham Isaac and Jacob don't work the Sabbath every seventh take the pay cut so much racing is in my bank I can never go bankrupt Euro step right through the lane an easy layup throw the truth to my haters it's pursuit for more paper there's still dirt on my nails grab the fruits of my labor Trump will be a bell Israel Trump will be a Trump will be a bell Israel Trump will be a Trump will be a bell True sons of Jacob Lea and Raquel Israel Trump will be a Trump will be a bell Israel Trump will be a Trump will be a bell Israel Trump will be a Trump will be a bell Sons of the ancients What the world are marvel Israel What's your skin like you walk out the garden Such perfection I beg your pardon And with such movements I can see garden You're a diamond in the rough You trust in God is enough New heights you so peaky yeah. From this yoke of old you come to free me In such climates you make it look easy Such climates you make it look easy yeah. No matter how hard you for God will be there when you need to catch you yeah. 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 Though you cater to mind your own goals you are here to pursue That helps you amuse me In your mind is some way that go profusely With God's blessings you grow to hell easy Your precision is enough but you're smooth to the touch last You a black queen, black queen Your essence of the most high In the peak of your calling you don't shine You a black queen, black queen You're hurting but you won't cry Keep your crown on your rappers in my strong side Oh, 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 oh. You're not forsake the Lord or his messenger You always take a more than you're letting up Me try to take a more but you tell me no yeah, yeah. No Queen Sheba Me sort a queen that remind me of my Ema Like Sephora you save me from your fever And in your state you walk like a diva Your smile is enough Push me through the day when the road getting tough Yeah I set the course cause I eve to be rough Your desire in my eyes when I'm bruised when we fuss Your clothes with your words like a fresh glass of my or a branch to a bird. Your pride of a lion, but you cater to my words. When I fall short, but yeah, yeah, your counsel always hurt. Yeah, yeah. You a black queen, black queen. Your essence are the most high. In the peak of your calling, you don't shine. You a black queen, black queen. You're hurting, but you won't cry. Keep your crown on your rappers in my strong side. Oh. In the presence of an angel, Yah has blessed you in his death. Hold my hand as we walk in through the garden of his land. Yah embrace us and will raise you beyond the meadows where you stand. That's the one right there, Chief. Yeah, that I was just, the one right there. I just heard that for the first time today. It's a lot of music out there, but I'd be afraid of the music because a lot of people are messianic, and I don't want them to um <laughs> to sneak that. <laughs> Then everybody be coming want, at me. So I need the music you don't want that's... I need the music. You don't want that's... them to go up. You don't want them to go up there and be like the sun, the sun, the sun, the sun. That's true. So Israelites, true. Israelites is the worst. <laughs> like you, yo. yo. I'll make a mistake. If I make a mistake, I'll be the whole talk of of the services next. Um, the next <laughs> then yo. in the morning. <laughs> Or you, especially if one of the songs be like the sun, the sun. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'll be finished around this town. Next week, we'll be Benito. like half of the people listening. 
That brother yeah. be no, Christian music. But I'm talking music. about, but I'm talking about the sun. But I'm talking about the sun. No, the sun. <laughs> That that tune is by Sister Malka Norwood. It's called Great Is Yah. So um just trying to label this. I'm gonna download some more of her music. And um I right, don't forget this coming um this coming Young Rishon, this coming Sunday, there's gonna be a, um a concert. A virtual concert with different performers, uh, music to to the Most High God, um, in efforts to try to get um, the education, um, the education, um, uh, education committee, in terms to try to get certain things done for the community. I don't want to get into the business aspect of it, but you know, there's going to be a concert this Sunday. Um, if somebody has the information or with whoever's on that has the information, please put it on the on the chat so that people will be able to know what to log into on on um on Sunday. I believe there's a fee to get in. Um so please just um help out the the brothers and sisters who are collaborating in this and trying to do this. So please um whoever's is part of this. Please put the information as to how people could get on on Sunday. It's going to be from midday, from um, 12 p.m. to 12 a.m., all right? It's going to be a lot of great performances. Uh, you don't want to miss it. I'm even doing my, my little DJ bit for a second, and... Um, Going to be a lot of a lot of good live performances. So, before we go to the um, to the phone lines, I was thinking during this music break, okay, and um, when we look back at you know our parents, our grandparents, and a lot of us know our great grandparents. When I'm thinking of mine, um, trauma, slaves and sharecroppers in Alabama, and to me those times seem like they were, like I had, like I have it way better than they had it. But why is there such an influx of a, a, a like a high um, count of? Black people committing suicide now as opposed to back then when it seems like we have it easier, you know, per se, now than we did back then. That's a good question. Have you seen, there's this new thing going around on IG and TikTok about um, when your parents told you at in the 70s if you was a 70s baby and your parents said throw this in the garbage and you went and did it then the 90s babies when they told them throw this in the garbage did you see that no i didn't see that they go from decade to decade the parents tell the same child throw this in the garbage the 80s baby or 70s i forget when it started they just went and threw it in the garbage 90s baby said they asked the question you want me to do it right now the millennium baby the 2000 baby was like why do i have to do it and then the generation z whatever this new generation is went through a whole big influx oh my gosh i got a lot going on you want me to take the trash out and i gotta do this and i gotta do that and it was like this whole big thing and it's funny because you can see over time how I don't know what's changed, but <laughs> but you can see over time the response, how the response has changed. And you ask what makes it so now, why people are more, uh, you know, wanting to commit suicide. And it's just that thing. It's the overwhelmingness. I think we've gotten to a point where with technology has made us so lazy that everything has become so easy that we don't know how or don't want to put the time or work in for anything good. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We took pride in 
yo, I knitted this thing from scratch. We took pride in the work that we did growing up. Whether you was in, you talk about back then, it doesn't matter. Versus how easy it is to accomplish things now. I heard a, a teacher, I forget which platform I was watching, but they talk about how our children lost critical thinking. We don't even yeah. have critical thinking anymore because when you go to the store, instead of trying to figure out what could supplement, we just text or take a picture and call. It's so easy to be like, they don't have it. I don't know what to do. And so I don't know if it's the technology that's changed it to make us that way. But you can see it in a variety of ways, whether it's school, education, work. It's just life has become so easy that we don't want to take time to do the work. And I think that aids into it's so easy to just commit suicide. It's so easy to just give up. It's so easy to quit. But even with marriage, when you look at people who's been married 50, 60 years, they went through the storm and back. Whereas you go through one thing in a relationship and you're ready to give up. Oh, I don't have to take this. I'll find someone who could love me for like we go through it in so many aspects of our life. We're just easy to give up. And that is what I think happened over the time. Uh, things is we try to make things easy. And it's just easy for us to quit. I don't know. I, you Thank know, I agree. I agree with that. I do. I agree with that. Um, it just seems like um, I think. I don't, I don't know if my grand, if I heard my grandmother say this or she quoted this out of the New Testament or something, but she was saying that every generation gets weaker and wiser, weaker we got, spiritually to God, but first, wiser to the world. We have our first caller. Oh, okay. Okay. This is, um, Shalom, Shalom. This is Devorah Mack. Shalom, Devorah. Shalom, Devorah. You know I couldn't. Hold back. I know, I know. <laughs> this is a hot topic, so we need the cause. Let's go. Oh, you ready? I can speak. Yeah, you can speak. You're on live. Okay, what in the whole suicide thing to segue over to where we are now? I posted a comment that in the past few years, our lives have changed dramatically going through a pandemic. When I first started doing law, I met Israelites who were born in a way who didn't think Israelites died. You know, they were grown and had not lost anyone in their families. So now, over the past three years, we've either seen people die. You know, it was less than six degrees of separation. Somebody right next to you experienced somebody die in this pandemic from one cause or another. And it's just hitting us as this maelstrom and overloading our psyche that, right. you know, it, it's it's be, life is becoming real. We read about our ancestors and what they went through, but now we are living through some things that can be akin to what they went through, and we are just not built like they were in that time. Right. You know, we got people dying in their twenties and thirties where they lived a hundred plus years. We just we just not that strong, and we need these outlets. Whether you, it's the music, it's the prayer, you got two friends you can talk to, maybe because you can relate or they can relate as opposed to a professional, but we need all those outlets. You Maybe you can journal, write things right. out. We have to come to terms with the things that the Most High is doing because we understand it. We may fare better than some of our counterparts because we know the Most High and where this is coming from. Right. It doesn't make it any easier. And when it hits you personally, as Rhonda stated about her sister, I literally watched my East die. And mm. there's probably not a day that that doesn't hit in my mind again. Right. And, you know, it, you have a moment and you've got to have an outlet to pull you out of that moment. Or you will go left. You will take yourself mm -hmm. there. So that's mm -hmm. where the... the spirit and the strength of the most high comes in for whatever reason he does whatever he does we have to acknowledge that accept that and then be grateful that we are still here to hopefully make some type of difference so if you are that person sometimes you just need to send a wellness check to somebody you haven't right. heard from or about right. and just say sis brother are you okay I called somebody yesterday and I was like they're like you need something no I'm just calling to see how you are and it was they, the person was like wow because we don't do that. Right. We don't do that for one another. So we need each other more than ever. The more pandemic ever. did bring us more together because it was devastation that right. brought us. 
and and we have to also realize that people in other countries live like this. They live through war. Mm. They live through famine. Like mm. today, you know, someone said right. to me today, I didn't know there was still a war in the Ukraine because this is not, our lives have been so easy right. in comparison and we've got to change our whole thought process and the way we do things to, in order to survive and be great. Hallelujah. That's pretty Chora. much it. Oh. Agreed. I think, I think, I think what, um, what Sister DeVore said is so important in terms of sometimes you need some adversity to galvanize us. We don't have we don't have real adversities that galvanize us. Like she just mentioned in the Ukraine, a war will bring you together. You know, and you know, when you see your land is being destroyed and you have a, a, a common um thing that you could fight for, maybe that's what our ancestors um why they their rate of suicide wasn't as high because Although they were being oppressed, they knew that if they stuck together, that they could overcome eventually. You know, um, the initial journey, you know, we could. There was a lot of suicide in that on that transatlantic slave trade, because you have documentation of people jumping overboard. They'll rather um, drown or, or or let the sharks or whatever eat them, rather than come um, and be captives in a in a land you know, uh, that's foreign onto them. So um, what she said, uh, that there were a lot of valid points in terms of the pandemic, seeing a lot of people dying, a lot of Israelites dying. Um, I mean, they, a lot of Israelites died in that in that period of time. And um, it's a mental overload and a mental stress that you can't, um, that you can't take. So um, it's... You know, it's it's a lot. It's a lot going on. It's a lot going on. And I knew this topic was going to go into something else. I knew it wasn't going to stay because people have a lot on their mind. So when, when we chose this topic, it was with the idea of um, what happened to the um, to the DJ and why would he take his life. But I knew that um, within our community itself, we have a lot of people that's going through mental trauma, Um but I will give this bit of advice. I have a I have a brother that's a friend that's a really good friend, right? And I don't tell everything to everyone, but when I speak to this brother, I could speak freely. So he is my he is my form he is my therapist. <laughs> nice. I could say that he is my therapist, and I could talk to him, and I could get everything off. And that's how it is. So we have getting another call here from Pennsylvania. Shalom, shalom. Who am I speaking to? Uh, this is uh, Ron Shavat. Hey, how you doing, Ron? Good, I'm good, I'm good. All right. Uh, one, one testimony I'll give on, on the subject is uh, one I want to, you know, say to the Rabbah, or praise to the Most High Yah for you uh, giving the ear to my situation. Okay. Uh, when I was speaking on it, um, that certainly helps in situations where a person is very down in the spirit, having somebody to really um, talk to, even vent to if necessary. Um, it wasn't meant to be a venting situation. It was really meant to be explanatory, but obviously that, you know, spilled over or what have you. Right. Um, one thing I will say in, in certain situations, um, Yah's judgment is very real. Yah's judgment is extremely real. Obviously, we know that because we accept being Israelites based on the judgment that we have uh, experienced in this land. Okay, we un we recognize that this is Yah's judgment on us for what our forefathers uh, brought upon us. Yah's judgment is real. Um, what you do can and will affect not just you, obviously, but your family, friends, and loved ones, and your children's children's children. So um, to avoid situations where you will find yourself in a uh, position to, you know, um, want to take your own life or what have you, you know, following law, statutes, commandments and doing certain things is very, very important. You don't want to bring Yah's judgment down on you because he's not going to have mercy on you. He's not going to have pity on you. He's not going to do it when you bring his judgment on you and it will force you into a position 
that you may want to take your own life. So you definitely want to watch how you carry yourself and uh, things of that nature because when Yah's judgment does come on you, he's not going to have pity on you. And grief is one of the worst uh, judgments that he'll put on you is grief, okay? Um, yeah. You know, in my situation, I made a vow to the Most High and I broke that vow. And I was in fear of his judgment coming upon me. And I'll be honest, um, those thoughts did cross my mind. However, I am a person who does believe in, in life after death, okay, or or what you know, whatever that entails. I have no idea exactly what that entails, but I also believe that if you do take your own life, um, that's going to fall on, you know, your family members, children people around you that judgment is going to come one way or another so that's also something to, to heavily uh consider but you know if you do make a commitment to to yeah fulfill it um and also you know watch how you carry yourself watch the things you do even in this world that's full of full of wickedness and temptation etc judgment is is constant He's constantly watching. He's constantly judging. And again, grief, one of the most horrific things that people can deal with. That's one of the most horrific judgments one can deal with is grief. When people get incarcerated and things of that nature, what is upon them? Grief. You know what I'm saying? Um, don't bring that upon yourself or upon your children or family members by being um, wicked. You know, I know that's easier said than done, but you, you want to think ahead. You want to consider these things. You don't want to find yourself in a position where taking your own life is optional because obviously that's when grief has, you know, put more weight on you than what you can handle. Hallelujah. That's what I'm Hallelujah. Well said. Very well said. Very well said. Yeah. You know, it's 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 a lot of things. It's a lot of things. I know this this, this topic has um grown into something different, but I think we need it. Um, Sister Rhonda, if you can, please put that number back up there for those who might be having problems that might not be able to talk to just a brother or a sister. Um, if you if you get a chance, please put it on. Will the do. Will do. The number of the suicide hot, hotline and. You know, I never, I, you know, told I, yeah, I think there is something to us serving the creator that stops us from doing harm to ourselves. I don't think that we don't go through depression. I think we go through dep depression and some of us might, I've, you know, I've heard people say that those thoughts have crossed through your mind, but you always, we always think about the most high. And I think that there is something to that and we, and, and we must be thankful to the creator that we have the opportunity to think about him before we, you know, before we do things that might harm us and not only us, but our family, because in the long run, our families suffer also. If we, you know, because your mother's going to suffer because she's going to think to herself, what did I miss? What didn't I see? Especially in those cases where people take their lives they don't leave a note. They don't leave an explanation. They don't leave anything. You know, it's, it's just a straight suicide. I think it's just a, a moment of being rash, a moment of imbalance, and a lot of people um, do that. Now, you have the people that is well taught out. They leave notes. They leave things in order. They leave things in place. And they said, this is this. This is that. I just can't take it anymore. You know, and, and that's that. So um, I know the topic is whether or not it's against Torah to take your life or whether suicide is is murder, taking your life is murder. Um, I tend to believe that it is, just to get back to the, to the topic, you know, I tend to believe that it is, and I think that it's against the Torah of the Most High. But if we've gone past that, I don't think most people disagree with that, but I think that, um, and some people might disagree with that, but I do think that um, that we've gone past that, and we're talking more about our mental health and the things that that we go through, and how we could help each other become better. 
Um, and I and let's not put let's not forget when we're talking about our mental health that our physical affects our mental and our mental affects our physical and spiritual absolutely, and everything. Absolutely. So we we definitely need to look at uh, ourselves physically and 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 go to the doctor not just for our mental but physically like there could be other things going on um um you work out a lot you know how good it feels after a workout how refreshing that is and how you just get your mind got a jolt in your body and it kind of shakes you up um we don't do that that much anymore we don't do a lot of well new york we do a lot of walking but you know, we're yelling at people while we're walking. So it's always stressful walking around New York or getting on the trains or whatever. But we need to just talk about our physical health as well and how that does affect our mental and what we put in our bodies and what we're eating and 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 all of that. It all plays a part. So mm. just want to add that. Absolutely. Well, Shatil, he disappeared. I think he ran out of words. <laughs> no, nah. he, he ain't gonna run out of words. Me, me run out of words. <laughs> <laughs> I think we in agreement. So he, <laughs> he don't have no, he don't have no, no combative today. We just well tonight is nah. just we giving advice, we giving good words, we giving right, scriptures. Right. Um, when you get a chance, run was, those I scriptures again if you if you get a chance. Um, shout out to you. Absolutely. I was just taking in the wisdom, man. When you hear people tell their personal experiences, it's kind of humbling. Um, yeah. So my thoughts and prayers to Ima Deborah, Dora Deborah. One thing she said that stuck with me that was like that pandemic, man, that quarantine smacked us. Absolutely. And it didn't even smack, it didn't even smack us during it. We, I think a lot of us, well, my family affected it after, right? Well, we watched everybody else go through their trials and 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 mourning. A lot of us on my side felt it afterwards. Sometimes we feel like we're untouched from those things, but that did weigh heavy on our spirits. It did. So that was the thing. And then a the brother Ron Shavat, I mean, he gave his testimony. Those things helped me, man. Cause that that lets you know you're not alone in this journey. Sometimes we feel like you don't know my pain or you don't know what I'm going through, but we all have similar struggles, just different ways, you know? So I was just listening, man. I'm taking it all in, you know? I don't have all the answers and a lot of the wisdom was helping me. So that's why I was quiet. Yeah, no. And I also, I'm listening to my boy, uh, my boy Shem is in the chat. Yeah. Shout out to my yeah. boy Shem. Shout Levy. out to Shem. We saw Shem in the chat. Hallelujah. Um, we, I mean, we do have time for maybe one, maybe two more calls. Yes. Sister Rhonda is going to shut this down at 11 p.m. Eastern time for show, <laughs> for show. You hear that, right? <laughs> we have time for one or two, maybe. And then it's the rest. It, <laughs> she said enough is enough. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we um even if we don't have calls, I I, I just want to say you know, it's important to 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 have the most high. I think that that's important for for us. I think that's why we don't see like suicides within our not that I know of within our community because we have a faith in the Creator, and I think that that plays a part in it. Um, it might not give you all the answers like one hundred percent. But is um, but it does give you some sense of you're doing something. You're looking forward to something. You know, believe it or not, that looking forward to the Shabbat day. Looking for if you really enjoy the Shabbat day, if you enjoy the 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 holy days, looking forward to that. Even if you had a stressful week or a depressing week, if you could come out and you could enjoy yourself, and you look forward to that enjoyment. Man, that's a blessing because that's a renewal of spirit. Yeah. That's a renewal of spirit. Sometimes you be down, man. I be down the whole week. I come to the shop about the little babies, the the young kids. They, you know, they bring like something to you and they and they renew your spirit. And you know you have to carry on for them and and you have to do things for them to leave them in a good position and in a good place. And it's don't forget, don't forget before COVID, we was all meeting out. 
and like you said, we were all yeah. at the camp. We were all yeah. congregating. And now since we got this new Zoom thing, yeah. a lot of people like we really need to think about that we need to get out and we need to get back into our congregations and get back into the camps and start doing what we were doing before because mm -hmm. uh, we need each other. Normal and Zoom is Zoom is nice, was nice during COVID, during that time because we needed it, but we need to be back out. We need to be mm -hmm. back out at our camps. Yeah. I I, I, the Zoom, Zoom is right, nice right now. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I'm but you're this. different. <laughs> you're different. <laughs> you're On different. the West Coast, I still got access. This this is beautiful. This is love for me. <laughs> This thing that changed my whole sabbatical life. Let me tell you something, honey. I love this YouTube or shop out where I can scroll from channel to channel <laughs> in my yeah. pajamas. Listen, I don't know about you, but and no, I know, I'm but it is Shabbat important to get out the service. We need this Shabbat night talk. We need we need this on Zoom and everything. But we know if you can go out to your congregation with your congregation on Shabbat, we should we should do it. Let me. Let me tell you something. I was there before everybody had to be there. I was there after everybody left Shabbat. <laughs> Let me tell you. And it was great. It was great. It was great. Uh oh, yeah. But, uh, and I was one of those people that I never thought I could be home on Shabbat. I used to hate staying home on Shabbat. I couldn't do it. But now, with YouTube Live and all of these congregations on YouTube, I think it's the best time. thing in the world. I used to think it was too much trouble to get up Listen, we work hard six days a week. Shabbat, I was a big believer that I should rest. And to get to services at 9, 10 in the morning and fall asleep during services, I thought was even more sinful than not going. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm, I love this YouTube Shabbat. And, and I'm, a, I'm a, yeah, I, don't stop it. <laughs> it sound, is, you know, like during the pandemic, they had the students that, that thrived at home. They weren't good students in school, but at home they were like excellent students. And then you had the ones that were excellent students in the schools. But then they, you know, when they started doing the, the whole Zoom thing, they fell off. He's just one of those that's thriving at home. Yeah, he's thriving. He's thriving. <laughs> thriving. That's all right, though. My kids learn more at home than they do at any service. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's important. I think especially for the elders, a lot of elders got... Um, grip with fear. They still living in fear, um, and you can't blame them. You know they. You know the way that. You know a brother said something to me that was very important. He said that the media has programmed us to to talk about what they want us to talk about. Like this whole topic today was controlled by the media because we talked. They talked about DJ Twitch, and that's how the the topic of suicide came up. So it's like. The media controls our thoughts, our emotions, what's happening around us, our fears, our anxieties, everything. What you see on the what you see on the on the media is what controls that. And and mm -hmm. um we need to kind of get out and be around each other to be able to kind of formulate our own ideas, our thoughts. When you sit at home by yourself, remember it's you and yourself and maybe your significant other, you don't get to formulate ideas or get to have that um that time together with other people to be able to um present your ideas and then someone rebuttal it and, and tell you, nah man, that don't go like that. Or you know what I mean that <laughs> think about it this way or think about it that way. But when you're at home, you just basically on your own, leaning on your own understanding so that I think the social part of it is important. Um, humans were made to be social. Um, yeah. That's why it tells us um, on the seventh day you have a holy convocation, right? And even on and even on the holy days you have a holy convocation. You have a holy gathering. So I think those things are important. It was done for a reason. It was done for us to, to stimulate our minds to be able to have conversation. That's why we create a platform like this. I know some people think that the Shabbat day is just to, it's not to have like any type of discussions. That's, that's why these discussions, we connect them with Torah, but it's also talking about real issues because 
these are real issues that we're having within our communities, right? Mm-hmm. And 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 we have to talk about them. We have to. This is just a family gathering, and we talking about issues, and we're still relating them to Torah, and we putting them together with Torah. And these are conversations that we need to have. How can we help each other out? How can we um, do things to um, better one another? These are all the topics and the conversations that we need to have in order to make ourselves better. So I see we got two minutes left. Any, um, y'all got any parting words? Um, yes, there I will think- be a Unity Shabbat 2023. Yes, it will. Um, I wanted, I thought Shah had a scripture for us that, and a final thought. Uh, yeah, I was going to give it out. Um, um, I was just actually writing them down and putting it in the chat, but my final thoughts are Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> peace be on to you all. No, no, seriously, just peace, man. I think we all that word peace, man. I pray for peace, you know, like I, I, without everything else, peace. I want peace in my home, peace in my life. And so that is my final thought. Just peace be unto you all. But some of the scriptures that I have to help overcome stress or to help uh, deal with stress, the most high gives us strength in these words. Um, Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, chapter 12, verses one through six. The book of Isaiah, chapter 25, verses 1 through 5. Uh, The book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verses 18 through 26. These are all kind of like words of encouragement. Again, I like chapters 40, 41, 42, 43. Just read all of those, (laughs) all of them chapters. Uh, We have Psalms, Psalms 85, verses 9 through 14. Psalms uh, 138, verses 4 through 8. Uh, one, this other one I got from First Samuel, which was kind of random when I found it, but it made sense. First Samuel chapter 2, verses 6 through 10. This was during Hannah's prayer. Uh, Sister Hannah, she had said a prayer to the Most High, and that's what that chapter is. In those verses 6 through 10, you can hear words of how the Most High helps us overcome failure or certain things that we might put ourselves down on because we are, we are our own worst critics. Uh, and, and of course, Deuteronomy chapters 5, verses 25 through 30, that one helps me because it makes me, it gives me purpose of living. You know, as a Hebrew Israelite, it was always like, what am I doing this for? But chapters five through chapter five, verse twenty-five lets you know, man, you you your purpose and the reason why we strive for righteousness and why we sacrifice so much in this society, why we're labeled differently, and all of these things that gives you strength about our future. Chapter five, verses twenty-five through thirty. So those are just a few precepts to help overcome when you're feeling overwhelmed and you're feeling like tomorrow you can't see tomorrow. And it's just like you don't know what to do with, with, with life. We I, we don't promote suicide. The conversation of suicide is murder is one thing, but that's not something that we promote. We promote positive and strengthened health. There's always a way out. You're never down so much where you can't get out. So we promote good health, positive health, positive thoughts to help right. us get out. And that, uh, my brother's keepers thing is real. I know we're scattered, you know, different states, different cities, and some of us might believe in different parts of the Torah differently, but we still have each other. And I think that's the part of unity that we overlook. We, like the U said, man, I could call him, he could call me. Well, I do call him sometimes and vent, and he'll listen. I have other brothers that I call. And that's what we for. We, we that's what we're here for. So we have the support system that we need. We have it. That you need. We do have it. And that's what brings us closer together. Um, so God is great, man, and and He wants to see us succeed. We have to know that too. The Most High wants to see us succeed. We're the Most High does not set us up for failure. 
He doesn't put you in a situation that's too hard. Like my brother Raj Shavai said, we sometimes we cause our own grief because we don't hold up our end of the bargain and our on our words and our actions and things. So, but even in your grief, it's still not too much for you to handle. Your grief is just so that you could acknowledge the creator and realize you, you fell off path. So just stay strong, man. The most high is real. He loves us and he wants us to succeed. And we are our brother's keeper. Hallelujah. 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 So I just want to, before we leave, I just, it was a very important um, point that Sister Nishlaki, I had to go back and look for it. Um, Yisrael Naftali wrote, she said, unfortunately, some mental illness inherited, passed down from one generation to the next. Many people don't or can't see that they're ill. Give thanks if you've been able to recognize a problem. And I think yeah. that's important. You know, sometimes it is passed down. The trauma and the um, illness is passed down. So um, thank you all once again. Sister Rhonda, you have any closing Right. Words? Well, I just wanted to, um, uh, that these uh, discussions every um, Friday night, Shabbat, are therapeutic for our community. And I'm thankful to be a part of them. I'm thankful to um, help uh, get some of our, uh, be able to just talk about some of our uh, community issues. But I do think it's therapeutic. I do think our, our family um, likes this. So I'm looking forward to how we can just, you know, continue to bring topics that uh, we can all um, discuss freely because maybe we couldn't do that in any other platform. So I'm thankful for that. Hallelujah. So you also suggested to me to have like a, a Facebook page or I don't know, Facebook, Instagram, something where the conversation could continue. Yeah. Um, and we can get other ideas from, you know, for our next week's um, discussion. But I okay. do think we can take that and um, we can have scripture on there. We can just, you know, keep it going through the week because I do think that this is therapy as well. Okay. So if you, if you feel like creating like, one, do you it, go ahead and do it. <laughs> yeah, you could go ahead and do it. <laughs> And then you could give us some admin um, control, and then that way we go in there and, and help out and do whatever it is that we have to do. I'll start working on it this week. Hallelujah. So thank you all once again. Um, we're going to keep it. We're going to cut it off this, this week. <laughs> <laughs> and we say toda ya, and we, we thank all of you once again uh, yeah. for joining us. May the most high God bless each and every one of you. Shalom, shalom. Hallelujah. Shalom. Shalom, y'all. Shalom, family. Bye. Shalom, shalom. Lala Tov. Lala Tov.